We often take medicine for common things like headaches or allergies. But what we usually don't realize is that taking excessive or the wrong dosage of these medications can be bad for our liver. Your liver is the biggest solid organ in your body and works tirelessly to clean your blood, produce bile to help digest your food, and metabolize the contents in your foods and medications. But here's the problem. Taking certain medications can seriously harm your liver, particularly if you take more than their recommended dose. This kind of liver damage is often referred to as drug-induced liver injury, and it can be pretty serious, sometimes even life-threatening. But don't worry. In this video, let's learn about some of the most common drugs that can damage your liver and the signs of liver damage that overdosage of these medications can cause. Let's begin. Number 1. Tylenol Tylenol, commonly known as acetaminophen, is a commonly used medication for pain relief and fever reduction. It's completely safe if we use it as per prescription from a physician, but excessive intake can create a serious condition called acetaminophen-induced liver injury, or ILE for short. Even a single overdosage of Tylenol can result in severe liver damage, a condition known as Tylenol overdose. How badly ILE can affect your liver depends on several things like the amount of Tylenol you took, your genes, and any existing liver problems you may have. Tylenol overdosage can show up in a number of symptoms, such as feeling sick to your stomach, throwing up, belly pain, yellowing of your skin or eyes, and fatigue. These symptoms can help you catch ILE early and get help faster. To keep your risk of developing ILE, take only the recommended amount of Tylenol per day, which is typically around 4,000 milligrams or less. Don't drink alcohol while you're taking it and talk to your doctor about any risks or interactions with other medications. If you think you've taken too much Tylenol, it's important to get medical help immediately. Be careful about other medications that contain acetaminophen, because taking too much of it, even from different sources, can be dangerous. Finding and treating ILE early is important to avoid bigger problems later on. By understanding these things and taking some simple precautions, you can use Tylenol safely and effectively. And remember, if you ever have any questions or worries about Tylenol and your liver health, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. Number 2. Augmentin Augmentin is a powerful antibiotic that helps fight and kill different types of bacteria in your body, including the ones responsible for skin infections, pneumonia, sinusitis, strep throat, and urinary tract infections. But it's really important to be aware of its potential side effects, including rare cases of liver damage. As you get older, your liver probably won't work as well as it used to, making it more sensitive to Augmentin. Plus, if you already have liver problems, particularly hepatitis or liver cirrhosis, taking Augmentin can make them even worse. Some medicines can interact with Augmentin in a way that can increase the risk of liver damage. It's important to tell your doctor about all the medicines you take, including over-the-counter medicines and supplements. Be aware of symptoms like tiredness, nausea, vomiting, paleness in skin or eyes, pale stools, and dark urine. Higher doses of Augmentin can also lead to kidney damage, liver dysfunction, and even jaundice. So if you experience any of these symptoms, consult your doctor immediately. Number 3. Diclofenac Diclofenac is basically a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug commonly used to treat pain, inflammation, and fever. Two of the most common types of diclofenac are diclofenac sodium and diclofenac potassium. It also comes as gels, creams, and patches that can be applied directly to the skin. While the majority of cases are minor and only visible through blood tests, some people, especially women who take high doses of diclofenac or use it for a long time, are more likely to get serious liver damage. Signs of diclofenac-induced liver damage are almost the same as other medications on our list. So, watch out for those too. Topical forms of diclofenac carry a lower risk of liver damage because less medication would enter your bloodstream. However, it's always important to talk to your doctor before taking any form of diclofenac. They can weigh the potential risks and benefits for you and help you decide if it's the right medication for your specific needs. Number 4. Amiodarone. This medication is sometimes used to treat irregular heart rhythms. And surprisingly, this medication can directly cause damage to liver cells. It can interfere with the production and flow of bile, 
the enzyme produced by the liver for digestion and waste removal. Amiodarone has also been shown to trigger an immune response in the liver, leading to inflammation and damage. Elderly patients, people who take higher dosages, people who use it for the long term, alcohol drinkers and people with pre-existing liver conditions are more likely to get affected by liver damage from this medication. In fact, the FDA has issued a boxed warning about the risks of amiodarone, including its potential to cause liver damage. A boxed warning is basically the most serious type of warning the FDA can issue, highlighting a drug's significant risks that require special attention. According to the FDA, amiodarone therapy is associated with significant risks of lung toxicity, liver toxicity, and cardiac toxicity, which may be severe and may lead to death. Luckily, this risk can be controlled by regular checks. If you're taking amiodarone, your health expert will probably monitor your liver function through regular blood tests to make sure your treatment is safe and effective. By keeping a close eye on your liver function, your doctor can adjust your amiodarone dose or even suggest alternative treatment options if necessary, ensuring your overall health and well-being. Number 5. Allopurinol Allopurinol is the most common medication used to treat gout, a condition in which painful inflammation in the joints is caused by uric acid buildup. It works by lowering the production of uric acid in the body. Plus, it is also sometimes used to prevent uric acid-based kidney stones. Although rare, allopurinol can cause a serious form of liver injury called drug-induced liver injury. It can show up in the form of symptoms like fever, skin rashes which may be itchy and widespread, swollen lymph nodes, joint pain, and sometimes swelling in the face. The risk and severity of these symptoms depend on its dosage and genetics. Also, pay attention if you already have pre-existing kidney disease or liver disease or are taking medications for certain health conditions. So if you're taking allopurinol, be aware of these potential side effects and consult your doctor if you experience any concerns. Number 6. Supplements. In addition to these drugs and medications, some very common supplements can potentially harm your liver, particularly if you take them in higher doses. In fact, studies show that overdosage of supplements accounts for about 20% cases of liver injury cases in the U.S. alone. For example, iron is an essential mineral for red blood cell production and overall health. But excessive iron intake can overload your liver, leading to liver damage. Another example is vitamin A. Excessive intake of vitamin A supplements, exceeding the recommended daily intake, can lead to liver toxicity and damage. High doses of niacin supplements, exceeding 3 grams per day, can also cause liver damage. This is especially true for people with pre-existing liver conditions. Other common supplements that can be harmful to the liver in high doses are fish oil supplements, bodybuilding supplements, especially the ones that contain anabolic steroids, weight loss supplements, particularly the ones that contain green tea extracts, and several others. Always consult your doctor before starting any new supplement or medication and follow the recommended dosage as prescribed by your doctor. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.